retro rock plays everything. Look at the size of this freaking thing. Ladies and gentlemen, meet the Miss Pac-Man wireless plug and play by Jack Pacific. If you want information about this thing, you're gonna be hard pressed for it because Jack Pacific is amazingly tight-lipped about all of their gaming products that they used to make. At Jack Pacific, snitches get stitches. What I do know is that this thing was made back in 2004. It is wireless. It is huge and insane. Uh, one thing is that it still has a twist from the original Miss Pac-Man, which of course is used for pole position. I have heard varying accounts that this either has two more games or does not. We will find out. It's going to be a surprise to me. I do want to note that versus the original one, this one does have a plastic uh, shaft on the joystick, so that's not quite as good as the original. Let's take it off of its little mount here and just take a little closer look. We've got two buttons, joystick, it does feel fine. I mean, there's no problems with it. You've got a menu button here. You've got an on off. You've got, um, where are they? Yeah, there we go. Uh, there's the receiver or uh, transmitters. On the bottom, you do have a Locked battery compartment. I think it takes four double A's. We'll confirm that in a bit. Rubber feet so you can set it down nicely. It does look and feel nice as the original Miss Pac-Man one did. It's it's really quite nice. Let's take a look at the base. Of course, we've got the receiver side of things. Very nice uh, wood grain Miss Pac-Man. It's not real wood grain. It's just a sticker, but it does look nice. It says Jack Pacific right here because they were proud of their creations back then. A little scratch on this one. Uh, it is of course used. It's very difficult to get this thing new nowadays. In fact, it's difficult to get it. It's gonna run you back a little bit too. I think I got mine fairly cheap. I think it was like 15 bucks, but this isn't one that you'll generally find for five bucks unless you get really lucky. Another four, bu uh, another four AA batteries go in the bottom. Finally, you got about a six foot cable with, with bonus. That's right. You got those RCA jacks. These are pretty nice ones. They're not cheap, uh, well built. There is no stopper. So once these start pulling apart, they'll just go right down to the base. Just kind of a bummer. This is very exciting for you to watch, I'm sure. All right. So all I have to say about the hardware, oh, except there is a reset button on here. How cool is that? And an LED. We'll put some batteries in it and play it. Retro Rob plays everything. And here we are at the main menu of the Jack Pacific Namco Wireless Miss Pac-Man Plug and Play. Say that three times fast. Come on, try it. Anyway, as you can see, there are actually two new games on here that weren't in the original Plug and Play, and that is Rally X and Bosconian. Main menu is pretty easy to navigate. Use right and left on the joystick to make your selection. You can also erase the high scores because it does save them. Very nice. Let's go play something. And here we go. Let's play some. The joystick works pretty well. I can hear some positive clicks which tell me that it's either micro switched or they want you to believe it is. Yeah, the controls are really quite smooth on this. Hmm. One of the big problems I've found with Miss Pac-Man in the past, well, Pac-Man games in general, is that when they use a controller like this, they don't have it locked four ways, uh, and the controls will feel really sloppy. But in this case... Yeah, it feels perfect. I have a little worry that maybe in the other games it will also be locked four ways and we'll have a problem, but 
Well, we'll see. Let's try another game. All right, so I'm switching over to Xevious, and the reason is I just wanted to see whether the controls worked okay or whether it felt like I was just going up, down, left, right. And it doesn't. It feels like, yeah, I can do corners. So this is okay. And this controller's working really just perfectly well. Nice. My friends like to point out to me on a regular basis that this game makes no sense. And Commodore's Radar Rat Race, which is basically the same game with cats and mice, makes way more freaking sense. And they wonder what Namco is thinking. Like, this is the first game that Namco made that made no sense. But anyway, I kind of have always liked this version better than Radar Rat Race. Probably because it's graphically uh, superior, in my opinion. Just more colorful. But that's just me. You know, you're entitled to your own opinions. That's kind of a nice thing about life. Whether you express them or not. <laughs> Smoked ya. Anyway, yeah, it's a pretty good game. Um, kind of dated, but fun to play. And I think it's a good addition to this collection. There we go. Got them all. Galaga. Not Galaxian. Galaga. Not bad. I'm going to note that the base of my thumb is biting into the side of the controller a little bit and it does cause a little bit of discomfort. So that is something you might want to note. Oh, I should have let him get it. But other than that, this is acting really good. And I'll bet you if I set this on a table, yeah, that works a lot better. Okay, and it does have rubber feet on the bottom, so when I set it on the table, it does feel a lot better. So I'm guessing it would probably be better, even though this is wireless, to just leave it on the table instead of holding it in your hands. Yeah, that feels a lot better. Doesn't make me play a lot better, though. Mappy! This is a great freaking game. The game isn't terribly logical. I don't really know why the cop is running around stealing stuff. But anyway, it is a classic game, so let us not think too hard. And it plays great on this. Haha, <laughs> sucker. Alright, so quick note, if I hit the menu button right now, it will go on to this pause screen where I can continue or quit. Now if I quit, I go back to the main menu. Very nice. Bosconi is one of those more advanced concept games. You're attacking these bases and you basically have to strip off their defenses and then take them out. Now, I hear this is one of the complaints about this and that is that Bosconian had more directions to it originally. Uh, the controller had the capability of more nuance uh, than this one provides. I don't think it harms gameplay that much, but I'm going to guess that if you're an arcade purist, this is probably not the game you want to buy this for. You might want to do MAME uh, with a decent controller. But that said, as far as I'm concerned, it plays well enough, and it's fun. It really is. All right, let's go on to what I consider to be one of the main attractions and the final game that we're going to look at, which is Pole Position. All right, so here's Pole Position, and this uses all the capabilities of this. It uses the twist handle. 
I'm in low gear. I gotta hit the second button to go into high gear. This plays great. Uh, my kid and I used to play this on the original version of this console, the one that didn't have wireless, all the time. And really just great. It got me into the Jax Pacific handhelds back when they were first released. And I really think that this is a really good version of pole position. In fact, probably one of the best home versions of pole position there was, and that's mostly just because of this controller. Uh, it's, you know, it's not a little mini steering wheel, fine, but it does work really well, and this has all the features that pole position should have. I really like it. It's a nice version. All right, so what's the verdict? on the Namco Jack Specific Miss Pac-Man Plug and Play Wireless Edition. Well, I'm gonna say that the original Miss Pac-Man was one of the best plug and plays probably ever made. It's got some of the best games, it was well constructed. This continues it. Although it doesn't have the metal shaft of the original, almost everything else feels really high quality. In fact, everything else does. Another thing, note that I am aimed completely away from this and it's still working. And I tested it up to about 10 feet. Yeah, I realize that's not huge, but it does have a pretty long cable. And it seemed to work just fine. It never missed a beat. I was never really fighting the controls and I didn't feel a significant delay in them. It works really stinking well for what it is. Therefore, if you can find this sucker for less than 20 bucks and you, you, know, you don't already have it, definitely go pick this sucker up. Don't pay something outrageous. I have seen these like really outrageously priced, but if you can get it for less than 20 bucks, I think the selection of games and the construction quality make it a definite win. I want to thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more, and I'll see you in a couple days. Bye!